All right, well, this is an attempt to make a movie. Um, here is my 1917 Hendy 14 by 6 lathe. It's been sitting for a while. The ways look good. I need to take this carriage apart and uh, I have some engagement problems with um, with the uh, cross and so there's some clutches and stuff inside this carriage and apron that it may be uh, held up and just some other things this engagement it's got an interesting thread threading uh, engagement where you can leave it engaged and then bring it back and um, uh, for some interesting uh, machining uh, this this lathe is quite heavy and I think it will turn steel like gangbusters I mean that's what they had back in the day and that's what I'm gonna dedicate this machine to for etc is to turn some some of the more nasty stuff uh, the motor goes on the back it's will be up here somewhere and um, I'm gonna put a, a variable frequency drive on it and you know get it get this thing going I I was gonna paint it up real nice I got some paint it's just too too labor intensive and I may just use a just a regular type of enamel and clean it up and uh, get it get it running all the gears look good and the quick change gearbox none of them are broken off and um, so that's a good sign there's some some work that was done to some of the drive components here that I'm not happy about and there's no a disengagement of the drive screw so or to the gearbox that was replaced with another gear and there's no there's usually a cluster or something here uh, or a little little uh, device that you can engage and disengage um, but that's all gone. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. But the ways look excellent. This particular uh, handy lathe was rebuilt in 1948. They added the the square pedestal type legs to it. It had those old funky legs. They did that, and I'm sure they reground and they redid a bunch of things. And once this lathe is running, this ought to be a really good lathe. Um, you know, may do most of my threading on this one and and all of that but um, yeah I, I I have another lathe right next to it I've got a a Colchester this is a, a 1966 As you can see I got the back cover off I wanted to make a, a tensioner there <coughs> there's three belts on this particular model and what I found was I was getting a lot of belt slip creep which caused a, a certain amount of vibration it was really strange these are new belts and so I came up with a gigantic bearing pulley assembly three bearings um, stacked next to each other and this makes the lathe smooth running unbelievable I gotta put this back cover on I had to cut out the the cover partially for this um, tensioner but get that all done here's the VFD for it and a complete load center for just for the for the garage I put in a hundred amp uh, service just for the machines I've got three load centers in my house one uh, in the garage for the main house one for the machines and one in my other downstairs area for my audio room but um, here, uh, as you can see, this is uh, my 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 baby. This is I love this lathe. This this is a this is a serious lathe. 
done some work on it so far I've turned some stuff I've got covers off for reasons I'm, I'm about I align had to realign the head the main bearing was never adjusted um, once I did that and got the proper tension this lathe turns true smooth unbelievable even at 1500 rpm you turn aluminum on this lathe it's like a ground finish almost beautiful beautiful stuff so um yep you can see what i've been doing with this and i'm going to get started on that and get her done but this is uh i just wanted to do a quick video and edit it and put it up there so you can this this is for don donald he uh he wanted to see this so this this is for him and i'm going to put it up there and hopefully make some more videos and start taking the start taking the handy apart and uh get her get her done all right so long for now